I'm crossing over again to the panelists, the ladies who are here, who are fans, number one fans of football, and they have their different stories and experiences in regards to this. So they've been sharing this. And of course, before we went for break, we were talking about uh, Kenyan football for that matter. And the question of corruption cannot fail to pop up. We talked about Nick Wenda. We've talked about the previous regime. We saw uh, Achesa being, of course, uh, Ousted out of the office simply because there were, you know, allegations to do with matters corruption, you know, mated upon him. And for the longest of time, uh, you remember the story of Hassan Wario. So clearly, the sports scene has not been in the best of shape. Do you suppose then that we get the wrong figures every other time that we're talking about? I am, I'm, I'm calculating on whether I should go behind or from the front or whatever it is. Okay, let me just cross over to this side and sit here, and I'll ask the ladies. Really, are we genuine when we're talking about this talk of corruption and how we can deal with the question of corruption, especially within the sports sector? And do you suppose that Madame Amina Mohammed is doing what she's expected to do in regards to streamlining the sports sector? I, I can look at, I can see you guys looking at each other, sort of, Nani Atashika, you, Nani Atajibu, you, you are open. Anyone can pick that one. Mm, me, uh, I think uh, the sports dockets in a a person who understands sports, not in any other person when you have to learn on the issue of sports or uh, the department of the Let's find somebody who understands sports, who has passion for football mm -hmm. and sports in general, mm -hmm. who has the love for sports. Okay, but I'm talking about passion. Like the, we have so many people educated, mm -hmm. former footballers. Who are very educated right. when you occupy your docket, they can transform this country because mm -hmm. they have been playing in Kenya, they know the challenges which encounter sports industry, mm -hmm. and they also they can come up with the solution on that. Mm -hmm. But giving true to any other person because I have a PhD, I she doesn't understand about football, I'm wake up, I could not try and because I'm going to in attack up, and it's very urgent for proper preparation. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm release pesa nini ya musho. Tazili players wame lose moran because they don't have allowances. Mume kuja mume nini players kuna mali wataenda camp and you know when preparing a football mm -hmm. team right. they wanafa kuka camp so that wakone ile mentality mm -hmm. wanafa kucheza kitu kama hiyo. But ukiacha mtu by kesho ukuja camp unambia enda pende ndego na itua kuwako yungo hakuna yu preparation because this person she doesn't love football. She, not, oh, she no, know nothing yeah. about football. Mm -hmm. and that we can talk about football industry. True. We cannot yeah. talk about the stories. We know them. These yeah. are unfortunate stories. Masi, uh, moving forward sincerely, are we getting the best in the docket? No. Uh -huh. Sadly. Ooh, yes, just sadly. Good, yeah. No. And uh, I would support Halima. We should put someone who has uh, sports mm -hmm. at heart. And bring these people who squander the money, uh, the money yeah. meant for these sports men and women to book. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay, true. We, we, we see George Ware doing well. He's the president now of Liberia. Mm -hmm. Who would ever imagine? Sometimes they look at <coughs> people who are not capable, but now he's money in Nigeria, uh, Liberia, sorry, and he's, he's, he's doing a good job. So, yes, uh, it's true. Sometimes there is that need uh, and, and, uh, of understanding and the love of the docket that you're being put to.